Vangari Matai was the first woman from Africa to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. She was also the first woman to become a professor in her home country of Kenya. As for her peace work, it all started by planting one tree. When visiting some of Kenya's poorest areas, Vangari Matai saw firsthand how the degradation of the environment impacted the lives of rural women. Kenya's forests were being cleared and replaced by commercial plantations, resulting in more drought, loss of biodiversity, and increased poverty. In 1977, she founded the Green Belt Movement, an organization focused on reforestation and women's rights. It began with women working together to grow seedlings and plant trees to bind the soil, store rainwater, provide food and firewood. For each tree planted, they also earned a small sum. Some people laughed at the idea of enlisting villagers, but Vangari Matai didn't listen, and by 2004, the women of the Green Belt Movement had planted 30 million trees. The members learned that they were not powerless, that they could find their way out of poverty. If they could bring about such positive change to their communities, what else could they accomplish? When the Kenyan authorities started selling off portions of the forest to private construction projects, Vangari Matai sprang into action and opposed the government despite police brutality. Her activism brought to light the corruption and lack of transparency of government. Thousands of citizens mobilized to defend their forests and their rights. Eventually, Vangari Matai and her organization gained so much support, the government had to stop the project. Thereby, the Green Belt movement evolved and started participating in the reshaping of Kenya into a more democratic country. In 2004, Vangari Matai was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for her work. Although this prize comes to me, it acknowledges the work of countless individuals and groups across the world. They work quietly and often without recognition to protect the environment, promote democracy, defend human rights, and ensure equality between women and men. By so doing, they plant seeds of peace. Vangari Matai passed away in 2011, but her legacy still lives on. Through the Greenbelt movement and initiatives like the Trillion Trees campaign, we're still making progress on reclaiming and restoring forests. Nowadays, we're constantly being bombarded with problems and it is easy to feel overwhelmed. Vangari Matai's method is simple. Start little and do the best you can. Think about the big picture, knowing that each change you make to one part will affect the whole. One person's simple idea a community coming together to plant trees can make a huge difference.